Hi, this is Tom Litchfield with a quick five-minute tech tip. Today we're going to look at how to deal with trying to read articles from non-mobile websites on our phones. So here's the problem. Say there's a link to an article you want to read. Let's take a look at my inbox for an article I want to read on my phone. It doesn't matter where the link came from. It could have been tweeted or liked on Facebook, or in this case, emailed. Then you tap on the link to an article and you get a page from a non-mobile website. Let's try another email here. Okay, here we go. This looks interesting. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This right here is going to be a pain in the ass to try and read. I mean, I've got this thing on my desktop computer and it looks better than how I'm looking at it right now on my phone. So at this point, what I can try to do and read this thing is to zoom in on it. But you can see it's not quite aligned. I can kind of maybe pinch the screen a little bit and try to get it aligned a little bit. So this I could read, the text is still kind of small. And this is just going to give me a headache because it's it's just too small. And if I zoom in anymore, then I'm going to have to scroll from side to side. Okay, so I'm sure this has happened to you on your phone. It happens to me like every day. Fortunately... I found a quick and easy solution. I have an app on my phone called Pocket. Pocket will strip out all the crap from this page and just give me the article in a nice format that I can actually read. Watch. I just tap on Share Page, Add to Pocket. Now I'll head on over to the Pocket app. Here's a list of articles that I've saved with the page we were just looking at right here on the top. So I'll just tap on it to open it up. Now we have the same article but in a readable format. I mean just look at how beautiful that is. That's pretty cool and it even brings in the pictures. Let's look back at the original. So here's what I was faced with after tapping that link. Dealing with this. Or reading this. Which one do you think is better? It's really a night and day difference. For those of you who are not familiar with the Pocket app, it's a read it later type app that most people use to save articles they want to read but don't have time for right at the moment. Or they find something interesting on their laptop or desktop computer and want to transfer it to their phone or tablet. That's actually how I started using the app. Let me show you. Let's find an article that I want to read later. This one looks interesting. So up here in my browser toolbar, I have this little pocket button. This was added when I installed the pocket Chrome extension. I just click this, and it saves the article. Let's go back to my phone. Now if I'm done reading this, I can just click red. And there's the article that I just saved on my desktop computer. And look at that. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the original again. Here's the article, the original article. And here's the same article on my phone. Great job, Pocket. 
So you've learned a little about the Pocket app and how you can save items for reading later. And you learned how to read non-mobile web pages on small screens using this app. Pocket has a lot of other great features like sharing with others. And it can even read your articles out loud to you. For a full review of Pocket and links to download the app to your Android or iOS device, please see the links in the video description box down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.